Well, good afternoon, campers. It's 1608. It's the 10th of June, I reckon. Well, I'm up at what they call Yarnbury Camp or Yarnbury Castle. Never been here before. I think it's going to be quiet enough for the night, but I don't know. I probably think this is where I'm going to stay. If the telly works, this is where I'm going to stay anyway. So I'll let you have a little look around. Look around, look around. Oh, look, there's some um, four-wheel drives coming now. So, um, here's my bedroom window. So this is what I should be looking out in the morning, but there's a 303 there. And it sounds quite noisy, but I don't know how noisy it's, I don't know how noisy it's gonna be. But, um, that's down over there, Stonehenge's down over there somewhere. But, um, you know, you've got some four-wheel, before we got drivers come in. All right. So what well, they're up to? Well, that's a nice one, doesn't it? A nice truck, isn't it? I like that. That's one of them one thirties, isn't it? Yeah, they're out on the mooch. So obviously, they'll cross over there. Obviously, you can get in that way, but that do look a bit up and down down there, doesn't it? Uh, so that's a bit too rough for me to go, I think. But, um, there they are, they're crossing the dual carriage right there. That's a bugger crossing there, and So nice, doesn't he? Yeah, I had a debate with our Peter, my, my nephew, about me wheels. And he reckons that painting them black like that, with them big wheel tyres on, gives them attitude. So, there you go. That's from a 28 year old's point of view. I just trying to fucking go because the tires work. But, there you go. Yeah, I haven't been done much today. I've um, mooched about from, where was I to? Walton Hill. And come along here. I reckon, I'm just trying to figure out where Stonehenge is. I reckon, it's directly in front of me there. There's the trees now. I reckon it's along there somewhere. I don't think that's it. I think it's too far away. I, I must be... I was following four miles of crow flies. We go down there into... Um, I can't remember the name of the bloody place. It's uh, not... Um, not Whitechapel, it's, oh, I can't remember the name of the places. Because, um, I got a lorry racing. That's right, you know, look at you trying to fucking get by there. Yeah. Bloody, I say hooligans. But I reckon I'm parked here on the corner. And I reckon that's far enough off the road. There's plenty of room here. This is a place it could be coming in the winter because you can get on, the, get on the gravel, see? But that lovely van, I do like my van, you know. I've just been on the interweb looking at that um, somewhere down in Ferndown. There is, mine's a, well, a private plate on it, mine's 11 plate. And this one's a, a 10 plate, but it's a minibus. So it's all covers of windows. Well, I was looking at it. I was thinking to myself, well, I'm not too sure how you do it, but I reckon the windows can be taken out. And something else put in or something to look right. I was thinking of something like, um, use a thick, black, shiny, plastic, you know, like, um, I can't remember what they fucking do, but they make road, they make, um, signs out of them, don't they, what you stick up on walls. You know, they stand them proud. Well, my nephew, old Greg, he, he owns that, um, Unique Signs. And I reckon he can get me some plastic. And what I would do is I think I would bond that plastic in on the windows. 
use about maybe six mil or eight mil to take the place of the glass because the glass is bonded on but the glass isn't black so but I could I'd want black glass so either either change it for black glass with um, black glass with uh, openings in or cover it in this black plastic along the sides take the windows out and glue that in make the walls where the walls need to be inside and insulate where it needed to be and then cut the holes in the black plastic and put ordinary um what do you call it then? what are they called windows like, like like windows like i got on mine which opened like like proper caravan camper van whatever you want to call it windows but to build it with the plastic ones on first and then just see what windows you actually need whether you get away with um whether you get away with what you call it ones what's it called whether you get away with like um i put two roof vents in i think two big roof vents and if i get away with them and then i would leave the windows looking like windows on the outside the glass and just have them mirror blacked on the inside and then literally just cover them the same as you would an ordinary wall but i diverse yeah the guy wants eight eight grand for it but it's apparently it's only done ten thousand miles but if it's as good as he says it is i might be interested the only thing i don't like it is fucking silver so that's what stopped me buying a new one of this when I bought this. When I bought this, I bought this. This is the three and a half thousand miles when I bought this. And that's why I bought this and not a new one. Because the new one was silver and I couldn't get one this colour grey. I like this grey. I'm not sure if I like a silver one or not. But i still got this in my head about building one myself. Go so, hey-ho, we'll see. But if he wants eight grand for it, and there's no that, and I can chip him, to seven two to seven two fifty or seven and a half. I'm having that. Yeah, but it does say. But I want one. With, I want one air conditioning. But it does say it's got air conditioning in the back, and there's a switch of that on it, and it says that you can, you know, what's got air conditioning in the back. Well, if that air conditioning in the back works to the front as well. Well, I quite fancy that, but I like the air conditioning at the front because in the in the winter, when your windows mist up, well, mine don't mist up that much, but when the windows mist up, you can run the air conditioning. It keeps them dry, doesn't it? So I just look at old, old bargains on the back of my tape and there's lorries. What about that? Is the way that is then? They're all furloughed. Perhaps they're not. Anyway, peeps, I'll let you get on. I'm going to sit here in a minute. I'm gonna, I've still got my coffee here. What I made down the road. In um. This is my view at my window. And it could very well be the same one tomorrow. So I'll um, speak to you all later. Remember, stay classy, no fighting. Bye-bye.